What you guys got another video here for you on how to speed up Windows 10 performance in 2020. Now, assuming that you've got a solid state drive installed, adequate amount of memory installed on that computer and a nice fresh install of Windows 10, then debloating the computer is the best thing to do next. And I'm going to show you how to do that to enhance the performance of Windows 10 by removing all the unnecessary bloatware that comes pre-installed uh, when you install Windows 10. So what we're going to be doing here is running a script from this guy here. He keeps it well updated as you can see here. It's updating all of the time and basically what we're going to do is run this to remove a lot of unnecessary features that you don't want on your system that come pre-installed. These can be uh, games like Candy Crush and settings like people settings and stuff like that that you might not want installed and running on your PC and uh, just gets rid of all of that sort of stuff. Now there's a couple of versions here you can see Windows 10 1903 to 1909 there's that version there and there's the very latest version for Windows 10 2004. If you don't know what version you're running then I'll show you quickly how to find that out. All you need to do here is right click on the start button go run and type WinVer inside here and click OK and this will bring up your version of Windows that you are running on that system as you can see here version 2004 so this is the very latest version of Windows 10 so going back to where you can get your script you can come down and take a look at uh, what this has to offer you can see it runs on PowerShell and it's going to run a bunch of commands and you're going to see uh, the box popping up here and you just populate these uh, boxes with your ticks that you stuff that you want to remove from the system you can then click uninstall and it will then go ahead and remove those features from your Windows 10 operating system so let me come down to the bottom here so we can see what versions it supports here so if you look here it does support version 2004 and the code name for that is 20h1 and you can see they do support that and it also does 1909 1903 and 1809 LTS C Enterprise 2019 version as well so we're going to click on the download up-to-date version here click on this and it will take you to another page and it's normally the very top one which is the very latest version you can see that he's rolling out a couple of different versions here Windows 10 2004 which is the very latest version of Windows 10 and then you've also got the Windows 10 1903 to 1909 version here now we've got a couple of links here which we can click on and this will show you the difference between the two and it will also show you exactly what is actually going to be going on with this script you can go through and read all the information here at your own leisure so let me go back here I'm going to come down to the download area and this is it here so you can either download 1903 to 1909 or Windows 10 2004 okay so we've got it on our desktop here what I'm going to do is extract all right here on the desktop so let me just extract this and there we go so here we have the actual files itself inside here you'll see a start file if you want to look at this you can right click and edit this file and this will open this up and it will tell you what it's basically doing so you can see it's going to change the execution policy as it uh, mentions on the website and it will run this file here which is the file which is the script so let's right click on this and run this as administrator so what it's going to do is ask you to uh, create a restore point or you can say no don't create or you can skip this uh, part here so I'm going to say C create and this will go ahead and create a restore point as you can see here so we'll let that run and we'll move on to the next step now it's always advisable to create a restore point in case something goes wrong you can always revert back but if you don't want to and you don't use system restore then you can skip that part okay so this next step is going to ask us do we want to change the default window mode and this will be light dark or you can skip this I'm going to make this uh, dark here because I prefer the dark mode so I'm going to enable that by typing D inside here and this will make it dark so we can app mode will make this dark as well so you can just put D in again and this will then change it to dark 
Now also what this script is going to do is start to remove a lot of telemetry, OneDrive and a lot of other features that you might not use on your computer. Now bearing in mind you may use some of these features so it's always advisable to read the full description of what this script actually does. You can go and investigate their website and read all that information. You can also open up the script and see what it's actually going to change and what it's going to actually delete. So if you don't know what you're doing then maybe leave that well alone. So next up you might see a little box popping up like this. Is This is going to remove some features here and if you're using the latest version of Windows 10 it might have uh, some more features but you can see we've got quick assist here which is your remote desktop uh, support you've got Internet Explorer here hello face now if you do use hello face to uh, log on to your computer you want to remove this and keep it on the system otherwise you might not be able to log in but if you don't use it you can always put the tick inside here and there's a bunch of other bits and pieces inside here which you can add to remove uh, by putting the ticks in or removing the ticks to keep them on the system once you're happy with your selection you can then click on uninstall and this will then remove those from the computer so just allow those to be removed now it's very important that you understand what scripts actually do when they're running they don't give you much control over what is actually happening once it's removing you can see it removing a bunch of stuff on the screen there and this is important that you understand what scripts actually do because it could be disabling features that you actually need so you have to understand what it's actually doing before you run these things Background apps is another area where these will be running in the background which can slow up the system especially if you're a gamer and stuff like that you may want to disable a lot of background apps but again you may need some of these like Windows Security, uh, the Windows Store and stuff like that. If you do then leave this on and remove the ticks from all of the stuff that you don't use. Uh, if you don't use any of it then you can just remove uh, the tick by turning it off and it will turn off all the background apps but mostly some people do use some of these features so just enable which ones you want to keep so next up we're talking about moving uh, locations for your desktop folders your desktop folders and your videos your music and stuff like that now there is a warning here to say files will not be moved to that location so it's just going to change the path for those locations like desktop documents videos music all those sort of library folders that you have built into windows if you want to skip this you can just click on skip by typing in s and it will skip that uh, process but if you do want to move them then you can do it at this stage by doing c change and it will change it for you which is quite a nice feature because some people like to move those to another drive or something like that so it's entirely up to you but I'm going to skip it for this video and it will do a bunch of changes and let it um, move on to the next stage here now running scripts on your computer is probably for the more advanced user the people that understand what these scripts actually do because they can be very destructive if you don't understand what the script is actually doing so you have to be a bit more mindful before running scripts on the computer because it can uh, mess up things. So you can see here, start menu uh, tiles. These are your start menu tiles on your start button. You can remove these uh, by clicking unpin. This will unpin all of these tiles here and you can then select which ones you want there yourself. So if you want to do that, you can do. So we'll just put you inside here to let that unpin. And it will go through and do a bunch of other stuff as well. So let me just go ahead and put you inside there and push enter and let that carry on doing its thinking. See, it's actually uh, pinning the shortcut for the control panel, devices and printers and command prompt. It's adding those in there as well. Next up, we can remove these ticks here. This is basically going to remove the packages. As you can see, Bing weather, we've got get help, get started, messaging, a lot of this stuff a lot of people don't use it and if you don't use it you can just remove it by uninstalling it and this will basically remove all of this from the computer and you can see there's a lot of stuff on here that people don't use like people uh, one connect uh, one note ms paint now if you do use ms paint you can remove the tick from there and it will stop that from being removed from the computer if you don't like any of this stuff you can click uninstall leave the ticks in and it will remove all of that from the computer so it just depends on what you use on your PC. So just be very careful and take your time. Otherwise, it will start removing stuff 
that you may want to keep on the PC. So we'll just let that run and remove all of that and then we can move on to the next stage which is graphics card performance preferences. You can add an app to the list here and this will basically set this to high performance which will give you a much better experience when you're playing games or using that graphics card for that particular app. So if it's a game that you're using you can then select it out of the list here uh, by going into here and selecting the game or app that you're using which is using that graphics card and set it to high performance. To skip it you can do by just putting S inside here and this will skip that uh, feature. Now we're going to move on to the next bit which is controlled folder access and you can uh, select whatever you want here. So if you've got a controlled folder that you want to uh, put inside here you can push A and this will add it to the protected folder here. So go into here and just select which one you want to uh, protect and uh, you can uh, just basically select any of these. Let me just put uh, say music inside here just to show you and this will add it in and you can do more of these if you wish it does one at a time but if you want to skip these you can just push S for skip and it will allow you to uh, skip those. So do a bunch of these and add these in uh, to your list here okay. So I'm just going to skip those and move on to the next stage here which is to do with Windows Defender. So if you don't use Windows Defender you can skip this uh, as well and, and just install say uh, Bitdefender or install something like Kaspersky or whatever it is that you want to use for your protection software for your computer. Now once you've completed that you can inspect the script before you run it if that's what you want to do. I'd advise you to have a good look through here and you can just right click and edit it and have a look at what it's actually doing and if you know what you're looking at here you'll be able to see what it's actually doing so you just have to understand how this stuff works now if you see some Russian text inside there that's because it's written in two languages Russian and English so you can see here restore point and you can see a bunch of other stuff here remove restore points that's determined on what selection you make so it will either create or delete or remove you can see that there and it's done in both languages here so don't worry about seeing Russian language in there it's just written in two languages that is all and uh, delete all restore points that's if you choose to delete uh, restore points now you can see uh, privacy and telemetry you can see it's going to remove a lot of data collecting and a lot of telemetry from the uh, system. Now if you're one of these people that are concerned about running scripts on your PC then leave these well alone because these will make changes to your computer like stopping telemetry services and stuff like that maybe deleting Cortana and removing it from the system OneDrive and things like that and if you don't want to do anything like that you may want to use other programs like ShutUp10 which allow you to use the rocker buttons to toggle off and toggle on certain features that you want to keep and not keep on the system. So it's entirely up to you which way you go about it. You can see here, do not show Cortana button, it removes, uh, removes Cortana and things like that from the computer. Now a little disclaimer here, it's entirely up to you whether you run these scripts on your computer, it's entirely at your own risk. I will not be held responsible if you mess up your system always back up your data before you run any type of script on your system to remove or debloat the Windows 10 operating system. With that said, it's pretty safe if you know what you're doing and again, always make a backup of your data and you can always go back and reinstall Windows 10 if you don't like it. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope you found this video useful. Again, once you've done this, you'll probably see that the system runs a lot more better without all of that bloatware and background apps running in the background. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day. Enjoy the sunny weather. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.